Let me go! Shh! You'll miss the best part. Yes, that's it. Let it in. Go ahead and open it, player. It isn't every day a toy receives a letter. It says, from your secret admirer. Yeah, to get you to open it. Ten to one, there's deadly poison in there. Come on, open it up. Are we even affected by poison? We're made of plastic, right? You spent the day as a spider mutant because one bit you, remember? Yeah, but it says secret admirer. <laughs> yes, yes! Well, it was nice knowing you. <coughs> no, I I'm fine. Must have just been some dust. Here, uh, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My beloved, I've pined for you since the day we met. Meet me at the train station alone at 8 o'clock and I'll confess my true feelings to you. Love, your secret admirer. She signed it with a kiss. Great. So you show up at the train station alone and Prototype eats you alive. Sounds like a great evening. It's already 7.30. I gotta get ready now. At least take your grab pack! I'll follow him! Hello? Secret admirer? Maybe Huggy was right. I'm gonna be alone forever. What's that? Kissy Missy? Kissy Missy, you're the best. Aw, uh, you're so sweet, Blair. I always knew we were perfect for each other. Whoa, whoa, hey! Huh? We got him! We finally got him! We saved him? What have you guys done? You're ruining the best night of my life! <gasps> you with us, Blair? What? What happened? Thanks to that weird dust in the letter, you almost smooched that! Player, where'd you go? I thought we were having fun! We gotta get out of here before- If you leave me, you'll regret it! Too late! <sighs> it's okay, Player. I'll find you! There must be something wrong with her. Kissy isn't usually like this. Uh, when isn't she trying to eat me alive? I met the whole secret admirer thing. That's very new. Player, why do you keep running? I thought we had something special. Grab on! Ah! Huggy! Huggy! Kissy's almost here. Go on without me. No way! We aren't leaving you behind! Grab my hand! Kissy Missy doesn't love me anymore! I have no reason to go on! 
Only because she's under some kind of weird spell. We can fix this and get both of you back together. I promise. Really? Yes. Now grab my hand before she eats this hole. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? She isn't gonna take the hint. I think I've got an idea. An idea that'll work? Uh, hopefully. Hello, yeah. Are you listening to me? I'm sorry I got mad, okay? I get it. You were just playing hard to get. So you can come out now. Please. Please! Guess you saw right through me, huh? I got some proof. Come in and look. See? I captured the monster who was trying to ruin our date. You! Yeah! Me! Huggy Wuggy! Don't you recognize me? Don't you remember the love we shared? Silence! What player and I have is beautiful. I won't let you destroy it. Please! I've loved you for as long as I've known you! Don't you remember? Even before we took these forms, we meant something to each other! Celebrate while you can, player. I'll find another way to divide you. Soon, you and your little friends will be at each other's throats. No! No! Just call her off! Please! Should have read the handbook. Zero tolerance for tardiness. Bon appetit, sissy long legs. Yay! That's it. You're doing splendid. Uh. All gone! Yes, I think you're finally ready. Find Baby Longlegs and end him. <laughs> you have your orders. Remember, the Longlegs are smart, but they're not invincible. It's your job to find a weakness and exploit it. I won't hold you down. Pick up the pace! I smell a fresh kill nearby. Enough to feed the both of us for a week if we're smart. Mommy, can I ask you a question? How come I don't have any siblings? Do you want the long answer or the short answer? I don't know. Both? The short answer is you're all I need and more. The long answer is life in this factory is too cruel and dangerous for me to bear bringing another kid into it. So, I'm gonna be an only child forever? Afraid so. But it's not all bad. You have me! Worry about her? She's fine. Trust me. Who are you? Wait, you mean Mommy Longlegs never told you about me? I'm Sissy Longlegs, your long lost twin sister. <gasps> Whoa, really? Of course. 
Boy, am I glad I found you. I've been searching for ages. Can you help me find my mommy? We got separated and... Sure, sure. But aren't there some fun sibling things you've always wanted to do? Come on! There's a whole day's worth of fun waiting to be had. A whole day of fun? Where do we start? I'm glad you asked. Follow me! Missing. Oh, let's go again. Ugh. So, let me get this straight. You want me to go down that ramp, through the flaming hoop, around the swinging axes, over the spike pit, and through the loop de loop. On a tricycle? Yes, duh! Unless you're scared. I'm not. Okay, here I go. Hey, what's going on here? Player, meet my sister, Sissy Longlegs. Huh, so you have a secret twin as well? How convenient. What are you suggesting? Is she trying to get you to write down this death trap? Classic evil twin. Gonna hurt him. It's just gonna be fun. You're not afraid of a little fun, are you, bro? Of course not. Let's do this thing. I won't let you. Way too dangerous. What would mommy think? Oh, I bet player's just mad because you have a new best friend. Jealous much? Are you, player? No way. I just don't want you to die. Well, if you're truly my friend, player, step aside. Sissy is my sister, and I want to make her happy, no matter what it takes. Uh, your funeral, pal. You think I should go after him? <laughs> mayday, mayday! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Ooh, bad fall. But don't worry. It's nothing a little rest won't fix. Now, go to sleep. Oh, where am I? No. No. Home sweet home. No, go back to sleep. This has to be a nightmare. I'm afraid your situation is quite real, thanks to the efforts of my greatest creation yet. You called? No, it can't be! You mean all that stuff we did together, all that fun we had, was a lie? Are you even my sister? <laughs> of course not! If I was related to you, do you really think I'd admit it? You're a loser! No, I'm not! Uh, lives with mom? Check! Best friend is a mannequin? Check! Need I go on? Yeah, that's it! Admit it to yourself! You're a loser! And you just did what losers do best! You lost! Don't worry, I wanted to eat you alive, but the CEO has bigger plans for you. What are you talking about? He's gonna take you from zero to hero! Surgically! Uh, no! Uh, no! Uh, uh, leave me alone! Uh, please don't do this! Please! Would you be quiet? When this is over, you'll thank me. I'm going to make you into the fiercest, deadliest monster this factory has ever seen. Sissy, fire it up. It's starting! What was that? 
75% charged, we're almost there! 80%? 90%? I knew it! He's here! I told you it would be! Mommy? Player? Sissy, your dinner's come to us. How convenient. I knew something was seriously wrong with her. I'll take the CEO. You deal with that, cretin. Stay back! You don't scare me! Shame. I wish I could have played with you longer. I'm not out of the fight yet. You're going to regret this. Come on, baby. We're leaving. I don't want to stick around here a second longer than I have to. Baby log legs! Wait! Those are terrible last words. You can't leave me here! Tatsu and his sister! I'm the only chance you have! I've got all the family I need. Poppy, what, what happened? Who are you? Ooh, look at here. Two prisoners for the price of one? It must be my lucky day. Ah! What, what happened? What is this place? I pick your questions wisely, player. Poppy doesn't have much time. Poppy, what's wrong? I think the crash messed me up pretty bad. <coughs> On the inside. One of those flowers can help stabilize her. The other will enter pain in a different way. You mean it's poisonous? Which one heals her? Tell me! Of course! If you can find me, this room is full of fake daisies. Only one is the real deal. Can you spot the difference? They all look the same. What do I do? Player, Daisy could have killed us, but she didn't. I think she wants someone to talk to. So talk. Yeah, maybe she'll accidentally reveal which one's the right one. <coughs> Hurry. Okay, Daisy, I I'm dying to know. Did you become a flower toy willingly, or...? Was I forced? Ah. <sighs> It's a long story, and you won't like the ending. Try me. Very well. My story begins in a tiny orphanage not far from here, where not a single green thing grew, except for my daisy, which I tended myself. There you go. Drink up. Daisy! You want to tell me why your flower is in my window? It's not your window, Gretchen. It's the window. We all have to share it. Says who? Well... I say it's my window. Anyone got a problem with that? Let's put it to a vote. Huh? Who here would be upset if I grabbed Daisy's stupid plant and smashed it on the floor? No, you can't! Oopsie daisy! <laughs> no! Please! No! Next time, I bet you'll think twice before taking something that isn't yours. <laughs> Ugh, what's your problem? Look who's in trouble. I'm sorry. Is that what you want to hear? She killed my only friend, and I fought back. I'm sorry. 
Just please, please, please don't kick me out. I can't be alone again. What? This isn't about any of that. It's good news. Someone wants to adopt you. Really? He's waiting downstairs. His name was Mr. Green, and he knew even more about flowers than I did. Even his house was covered in them. As the years passed, I met each plant in his living room. I learned their names. How to tend them, make them blossom. Daisy, thank you. Before you came, his house was haunted by death. <coughs> and now there's so much life. Mr. Green, what's wrong? I <coughs> told you to stop calling me that. It's okay. You're okay. The ambulance is coming. <coughs> no. Tell them no. This is where I want to be. Over the next few weeks, I watched him struggle. You should tend to the plants. Without water, they'll dry out. I'm not leaving you. I should have listened. Is that... smoke? <gasps> Dad, we have to... No! I was afraid if I looked back, I'd see him. So I kept walking. Years blurred into each other. I don't remember them. I wasn't myself again until... I hadn't felt hope in so long. At first, I thought I might be dreaming. But when I told the company how lonely and desperate I was, they gave me the job immediately. With my help, Playtime Co.'s Playcare Center went from a barren warehouse to lush paradise. And it stayed that way until the kids arrived. Mm, yummy! Pretty. Daisy, what's the meaning of this? He destroyed my flower! Well, we'll have to make ourselves a new one, won't we? I wasn't awake for the procedure. But my dreams were full of spores. And when I woke up... It looks like this. So, which one's the real me? Ready to take a guess, player? I... uh... They still all look the same. <laughs> you better choose quickly. Your friend is running out of time. I'll just try the purple flower. Purple looks good. No, we can't afford to risk it. I can do this. Um... uh... <laughs> it's okay to be a little slow, player. I was a late bloomer myself. Just think about the story she told. There <laughs> has to be something in it we can use. Maybe you're right. What are you doing? Ending this my way. Daisy, tell us which flower to use, or I'll burn this whole place to the ground. You wouldn't. You'd die too. And so would all your plants. Are you willing to lose everything a second time? Better choose quickly! Fine! It's the red one! The red one! <sighs> Much better. Who's the birthday boy? For the last 
time, Bunzo. Neither of us. Oh, right. I keep forgetting. It's your death day. That's almost the same thing. Uh, not really. I made you a cake to celebrate. Why does that cake sound like a bomb? Because it is, silly. When the candles burn down, we'll all go up like a big firework. <laughs> You're insane. I'm not insane. And I can prove it. Who's ready for story time? Oh, no. We got to get out of here. That bomb could go off at any minute. Just keep it distracted while I... Mm. Try to wiggle my way out of the chains. It's our only chance. Yeah, uh, fire away, Bunzo. Can't think of a better way to spend my final moments. That's the spirit. Now, where to begin? Yes, it all started in this very room long, long ago. Okay, kids, who's ready for some magic? Who's that? He looks kind of lame. Uh, and his trusty sidekick, Bunzo the Bunny. Whoa! I love bunnies! Isn't Bunzo great? <laughs> Yay! Yay! But really, he's only a small part of the act. I'm the star here. No, don't take him away. But I've got a bunch of other magic tricks. No! More Bunzo! More Bunzo! Come on, the bunny thing is so overdone. You ever seen a guy do this? Yeah, a bunch of times. My dad does that trick all the time. Or, or here, check this out. <sighs> Whatever. Fine. You want to see something really exciting? Watch me breathe fire! <sighs> For a tiny second, they were spellbound. I had them in the palm of my hand. And then... Everything went wrong. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Buddy, what did you do? I just wanted them to have the perfect birthday. Oh my god, he's burning! Give me the CEO! You called me at the right time. With a little luck, we might be able to save part of him. Part of him? What does that mean? I'd hate to spoil the surprise. What followed were the most painful moments of my life. I woke up some time later. Had it all been a bad dream? But then I saw my reflection, and it all made sense. Oh no! I had heard horror stories about the toys at Playtime Co., but I never assumed they were real. Would they make me kill for them? I knew I wasn't a monster. If they tried to make me into one, I'd have to fight back. Welcome back, Bunzo. But I was wrong. The surgery made me happier than ever. Suddenly, I could throw birthday parties seven days a week. No days off. No need to even sleep. The kids loved the new me. Bunzo the birthday bunny. It was a dream come true. Unfortunately, even in this body, I was still clumsy. Oh, no! Bunzo, you've got to be more careful. I'm sorry. I got carried away. It was an accident. Accidents don't happen here at Playtime Co. Ah! Never again. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, where am I? Hello? Down here, Bunzo. What did you do to me? We just relocated you to a different department. How can we hold birthday parties in here? I'm sorry, Bunzo, but you won't be doing birthday parties anymore. We need a monster for our memory game. A monster? I'm not a monster! The child you nearly struck would beg to differ. But look on the bright side. This way you can bang your symbols all you want, and if you scare a few subjects, that's icing on the cake. Enjoy your private hangout. You see what I did there? Hangout? 
<laughs> Very funny, sir. Hey, wait, wait! You can't just leave me by myself! But they did. I didn't need to eat or sleep, so I lost all track of time. I hung there for what seemed like an eternity. All right, just press the colors in the order they appear on screen. Okay. <gasps> Finally, a new friend! Blue, red, green. Okay, blue, red. It's happening! I'm free! Howdy, new friend! What's your name? Wait, wait! Don't send me back up there! Please! Well done! For years, contestants would come in for training. Blue, green, violet, orange, J. I learned all the patterns. And I loved when the players failed, relishing every chance I could come down from that ceiling to attack. Eventually, player came along and hit the hazard button, breaking the machine and releasing me from my prison. Are you free yet? Almost there. Keep stalling. And now you know everything about me. So make a wish before I... Wait a minute, uh, Bunzo? No interruptions! Uh, I'm sorry, there's just one thing I don't get. Why are you so into birthdays? Yeah, what's up with that? Well, if you must know, the reason I'm so into birthday parties, with all of their fun little games, plates of delicious mouth-watering food, huge stacks of presents, and heartfelt friendships. Nothing ever seemed to go right for me, no matter the occasion. In fact, I've been on my own for so long, I don't even know what day my birthday is. When I got a job at Playtime Co., I vowed to make every child's birthday something magical, to give everyone a chance to blow out the candles. And it looks like the candles are almost gone. Which means you've got only seconds left. So choose your last words wisely, Death Day Boy. <laughs> How about heads up? What? No, no! Red player! Crow Master! Why? There's no way you survived a blast like that. Playtime Co. is the preeminent toy making factory in the entire world. Its creations fill the shelves of every major retail outlet, mall, and department store. But it never seems like there's enough supply to go around for the hordes of fanatical Playtime Co. shoppers. There was nothing people wouldn't do to get their hands on the latest and greatest toy from Elliot Ludwig. But it wasn't always that way. In fact, there was a time when Playtime Co. nearly went out of business due to poor sales. Every idea they put on the shelf was a complete and total failure. I like toilets for two reasons. Number one and number two. Sir poops a lot was disgusting. Oh, in the oven gave people horrible second and third degree burns. And the pet rock was just plain lame. They were thrown away like garbage left to rot away and die in the depths of the reject warehouse. But hate has a way of transforming toys here at Playtime Co. Their quest for revenge allowed them to survive. <sighs> Is that thing still chasing us? What do you think? Look him out, quick! We're about to be dino snacks! I'm on it! Player, you're a genius! Just close the door already! You're too late! Time for plan B! Now run for it! That thing's not gonna hold him back for long! This way! I know a shortcut! Whoa! I've never seen these toys before! What even is this place? 
A reject warehouse. Sunny buddies. Surprise hairs. Barrel of huggies. This place is home to all the toys that didn't quite make the cut. For one reason or another. Rejected item, kick me Paul. Reason for rejection, nobody likes him. Laughed at a presentation meeting when revealing kick me Paul. I can see why. This thing stinks. In fact, all these toys are kind of terrible. I'm glad they never got released to the public. Player, don't be rude! Run the dinosaur! He escaped! We gotta get out of here! No, player! Look! Wait. Are those... Mommy Long Legs dolls? Rejected item. Mommy Long Legs concept V1 and V2. Reason for rejection. Too freaky for target demographic? Designs need a simpler color palette and simpler body shapes. Man, and I thought the final design was scary looking enough. These dolls are extra terrifying. Uh, Poppy, where did you put those dolls? I didn't move them. Those little freaks are alive? It sounds like we've got bigger problems. Not this guy again. Can't you just go extinct already? Quick, this way! Dead end! Run for it! We're trapped! Ah! Well, looky here. Another trespasser. The boss is gonna want to take a look at you for sure. Uh, uh, what's going on? Where am I? All in good time, little one. First, we have to make sure you're one of us. Wait, I recognize you. You're the guy that saved me from being eaten by Brown the Dinosaur. That's right, but that will be a cakewalk compared to what we'll do to you if you don't answer our questions. Now, now, be polite to our new friend. We don't want to scare the crap out of him. Yet. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sir poops a -Lot. This is my right-hand man, Owen the Oven. Well, my name's Player, and this is... Hey, what did you do to Poppy? Our questions first. Why were you snooping around in the reject warehouse? We were running away from Brian. Well, what is a new invention like you doing in the factory anyways? Shouldn't you be on a toy store shelf somewhere, waiting to be sold? Oh, well, I'm not exactly a toy, so... He's lying! Cheap plastic filled, bright primary colors, he's got commercial product written all over him! Owen, please, need I remind you that I once took you in under my wing? Sorry, boss. If you're not a toy, then what are you? More of a mannequin, I guess. Just a placeholder for this grab pack device. Uh, if not for this thing, they might have tossed me into the reject warehouse too. Undoubtedly they would have. You know, player. I spent a lifetime helping those that were dumped down here by the heartless suits of Playtime Co. Through it all, I built an empire. A home that made every misfit feel important and complete. But in order to do so, sacrifices had to be made. Normal toys had to become defective somehow. Deformed. They had to become one of us. I believe you are a misfit. An ugly monstrosity no one wants or cares about. Uh, thanks? But your little friend Poppy Playtime is anything but. <coughs> to prove you're one of us, you must be the one to transform her. What? No, I, I can't. Poppy's my friend. We're your friends now. In fact, we're stronger than that. We're family. Don't be stupid and flush this opportunity away. Start the machine. Do it! Now! Never! Uh, get him! With pleasure! Player, you gotta get me out of here! These freaks are crazy! Trust me, you don't know the half of it. Look out! Huh? Ah! If you can't handle the heat, stay out of the warehouse! Why does every toy have cool powers but me? You have your grab pack. Oh, 
Wait, my grab pack. You're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> this could have all been so simple. Where are we? Somewhere that should be awfully familiar. Let us go! Too late. You had your chance to join our home willingly. Now you'll both be transformed beyond recognition. I'll twist you into freaks incapable of speaking or walking. All you'll be able to do is sit and contemplate your mistakes. If you do that, what youth will we be? Yeah, think about this rationally, Sir poops a lot. <laughs> Every home needs a doormat or two. No, this is it! We're doomed! Whatever we look like after this, I hope you'll still be my friend. Of course, Poppy. Always. No! Back, you vile animal! Back, I say! Nobody likes a party poop. What's going on? No! No! You can't do this! Now's our chance, Poppy! Where are you heading up? Wait! Come back! Please! Don't leave me! At long last, I have everything I need to create more baby toys. But we're full-grown toys! Yes! Please let us go! We're not babies! Not babies yet. <laughs> ha! Nice try, player. But you're too late. Your friends are already. Gein? What did you do? There! If you know what's good for you, player, you won't follow me. These babies are my property. Not if I save them first. Keep crawling! Ree's coming! Ree's gonna get us! Scatter! Oh no! What are you guys doing? Aw, oh, boo-hoo. Did your friends abandon you at the first sign of danger? How typical. Why not come home? Stay away from me! Puppy? Bunzo? Anybody? Wait, what's that? It's okay. Probably just a friendly toy too shy to say hello. What are you doing, creepy hand? You want me to follow you? You think I was born yesterday? As if I'm just gonna follow some creepy disembodied hand into the shadows of... Huh? Wait a minute. Wait up! Wait for me! Hello, PJ. Ah! Bunjo, stop fooling around! We gotta save the others! No! Chase me! Chase me! Bunjo, stop! Stop what, player? You gotta be more specific! You'll wake up... you know who. What's there to worry about? The Huggies love me! Let's have some fun! Bunjo, please! I'm begging you! Who's the birthday boy? <laughs> Stop! Now look what you did, player! What I did? Hey! Let me go! Let me go! Shut up! We gotta get out of here! Step on it! They're gaining on us! Hope the others are having better luck! Read me alone! Read me alone! Read me alone! <laughs> Where are we now? Says so, so something's coming towards us. We got monsters on both sides. What do we do? Just close your eyes. M maybe it'll be over quicker that way.
PJ, it's you! And he brought a friend! Ro Rototype's gonna destroy me! Destroy is such a strong word. I prefer remodel. Actually, you're doing neither. CEO? You saved us? Saved is another strong word. I'm protecting my investment. I won't let you take the babies. Ha! Let. As if you have any agency over the matter. I'm warning you. I'll make this nice and simple. Hand over Bunzo and PJ or... Pop goes Poppy. No! <gasps> so, what'll it be, player? Don't keep me waiting. I... I... It's okay, player. You don't have to choose. Poppy's our friend, and we want to protect her. No, you can't give yourself up. I won't let you. It's not your choice to make, player. Now come on, PJ. You coming or what? It's what she would do for us. Ha! There we go. Was that so hard? Now, come with me. We've got so much to discover. Follow us, and I'll end them. Now what do I do? If he sees me, he'll destroy the babies. But if I stay here, they're as good as toast. No, I, I gotta go after them. There's no other choice. Finally, all the pieces are falling into place. Actually, to keep the board happy, I most certainly do have to do this. You understand, it's a competitive market. Ah! Hold still! CEO, stop this! Player, so nice to see you. What good is an inevitable super plan without a stupid room trying to stop it? I won't let you use the babies for profit any longer. They aren't your property. Actually, player, they are. I've got the patents right here. You know what I mean. Ah, just once try to see things my way, will you? This holiday, Playtime Co. will release the greatest line of baby toys the world has ever seen. Parents will fight like dogs to get their hands on quality like ours. It'll be Black Friday every day of the week. And come Christmas, kids nationwide will unbox the most realistic the most loving dolls they've ever laid eyes on. When I imagine the happy smiles on their faces and the heaps of money we'll make. I just get all warm and fuzzy inside. Warm and fuzzy? Can't you see what you're doing is hurting them? Progress always hurts, player. As CEO, I shoulder the burden gladly. I bet the paycheck helps. It's just supply and demand. Not many executives are bold enough, brave enough to go as far as I do. I'm the rare kind of leader who push Playtime Co. forward no matter the cost. Thanks to me, a glorious future awaits us. If you stand down, player, give up the self-righteous act. Maybe you can be part of that future. Not interested. You'll have to try harder than that to get me, player. I wasn't aiming for you. Freedom! Buncho, make some noise! You got it! Hold still! Player, you did it! We're free! What's the time? Here we are! Home sweet home! You and Kissy Missy lived here? For a little while, until Playtime Co. found other uses for us. It feels so weird to be back. We're locked in! What's that noise? Here comes the neighborhood! We're surrounded, uh, but I got an idea. You sure this will work? It has to. Ready? Ready! Uh, okay. Uh, I'm starting to get a little dizzy. <laughs> They're closing in on us! We need a way out! That exit 
exit door is still locked. Come on, think, think. Look, that's our ticket. Grab on, Huggy. <laughs> Jackpot! Jackpot? We barely escaped with our lives! But I bet they won't! <gasps> we got him! All thanks to your great idea! <laughs> won't argue you there! Wait! What's going on? I thought this was like a big old disposer! Player! Look! Toy. Recycling? So, all those huggies are gonna... Fatal energy surge detected. Locate failsafe. Repeat. Fatal energy surge detected. Locate failsafe. Run! Ah! That was a close one. One hit from Dad and we're toast! How are we gonna beat this guy? He's unstoppable! That voice said fail safe. Maybe. There! Uh oh. Uh, hey there! Huggy, grab the thing! Now! Flash Dark? How is this gonna help? This guy's like a rainbow! He's powered by the colors inside the little huggies! And colors disappear in the dark! Huggy, you did it! Dang! Looks like we won't get another shot! Why did they even invent that thing? Why did they turn me and my SO into homicidal Muppets? Why did they put a human brain in a doll body? Why is there a whole family of elastic spiders living in the vents? Okay, okay, I get your point. We'll need a bigger one of these to put that freak away for good. Any idea where we could find one? This is advanced prototype technology. If it's anywhere, it'll be on the... Uh, innovation floor. No time for ominous pauses. We gotta go, now. Hopefully this place still has power. Welcome to the innovation floor! Whoa! How come you never took us down here before? Because of him! Playtime Co's nastiest guard dog! <gasps> Can he see us? He detects movement! Step a little too fast at one time, and he'll stomp us into pancakes! So be careful! Relax, Huggy. Careful is my middle... ...name. You idiot! We're done for! Shh, don't move! Clubsy much? Don't blow this for us! Cheer up, will ya? I think I found what we're looking for. Spot dark? Yeah, that's the machine that shoots a darkness ray. We can use it to defeat Rainbow Huggy. We just gotta tiptoe our way over there and start it before he shows up. Too late! He's here! Looks like we're not the only ones you noticed. What do we do, player? What do we do? Run for it while he's distracted. Come on. Hurry, Huggy. This way. Ah! I bet this joystick lets me control the beam. Do you even know how to use this thing? Uh, not exactly. But it can't be rocket science, right? You never know with Playtime Go! I think I just have to charge it up, and when Rainbow Huggy comes, we'll be ready. They're gonna tear this place apart! 
Uh, hurry up and get this darkness beam ready! I'm trying, but the beam's still charging. Please tell me that thing is fully charged now! I don't know how much longer this fight is gonna go on, but no matter who wins, if this beam's not working, we're mincemeat! Almost there. 98, 99, 100. I can't get a clear shot. That stupid dino robot is in the way. Just wait! It looks like Rainbow Huggy is about to finish him! There! Fire! No! With pleasure. Say goodbye, Rainbow Freak. What? You gotta be kidding me! Head to the password! Do it! Uh, password123? Playtime code for life. Poppy150? Nothing's working, Huggy! And it looks like we only get one more attempt before we're locked out! Think, player! What's the number one thing this company cares about? More than anything else! Profit, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Huggy, you're a genius! Less thinking, more firing the giant laser beam! Yeah. Hey, Huggy. Yes, player? I gotta be honest. I hate your family. rock a bye baby, on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will... Ever since her creation, Mommy Longlegs has always been violent towards the workers here at Playtime Co. And the immense nature of her abilities made her nearly impossible to control. But one day, they discovered that she would do anything to protect and care for children. Exposure to various kids that roamed the Playtime Co. game station made Mommy Longlegs docile, compliant to demands. So they decided to build her a child of her own. Baby Long Legs. The plan worked. Mommy Long Legs loved her new baby more than anything in the whole world. But there was a major downside. If at any point Baby Long Legs was removed from her side, Mommy would go ballistic, destroying anything and everyone in her path. Hurry, right, Baby Long Legs. Player to the rescue! Player? Is that you? What are you doing here? I'm here to save you from your oppressive mother. Come on, I'll break you free. No, it's too dangerous. If she wakes up, she'll tear you limb from limb. Mm. Phew. Just get out of here. No way, baby. You're my friend. I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't worry. I have a plan. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I told you. Now come on. Time to get out of here. Hold on. <laughs> Is that you, sweetie? You want a little cuddle? What do you call a dinosaur that's a noisy sleeper? A Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> Uh-oh. Player! You stole my baby from me! What's your big plan now, smart guy? Now she's trapped for good! I wouldn't be so sure of that. Oh, right. I forgot about Mommy Longlegs... Long legs. Run for it! 
Where do we go? She's right on her tail! To the train! Even Mommy isn't as fast as a locomotive! Good idea! Did you really think I was going to let you escape with my little baby boy that easily? Well, there goes our ride. Hurry, this way. Uh, faster, baby. Your stupid mom can stretch infinitely. I know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Yay! How many times have I told you, Bunto? Every day is not my birthday! Oh, I'm sorry. I just love birthdays so much! Give it up, Mommy. You can't get us in here. Player, you don't know who you've locked yourselves in with. Please, keep baby long legs safe. What does she mean by that? Yeah, Bunzo, you're not dangerous, right? Of course not. Bunzo is totally normal. You got nothing to worry about. Right, well, talking about yourself in third person doesn't exactly help your case. Now, whose birthday is it? Not mine. Me neither. <laughs> It has to be so, because I'm here, and I'm the birthday bunny, and I, it has to be, gotta, I don't know what to tell you, pal. Player, I'm getting a bad feeling about this guy. Yeah, we're just gonna skedaddle. They won't budge! Pull harder, pull harder! You guys don't seem to understand. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Ah! <laughs> you can't get away from me, little ones. Nice one, baby long legs. No, 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 not Let's get out of here! Where to now? Over here! To the Wacka Wacky game! Come here, you two! Bunzo still has to blow out your candles! For good! Oh no! Somebody shut off the entrance! It's a dead end! Make a wish! <laughs> No one hurts my little boy! Oh. I think we're safe for now. Cool, so now we just have to get that train back on. Are you sure you can do that? I'm a pretty tech-savvy guy. I bet I can figure it out. Easy peasy. <laughs> wow, that sure looks complex. I can't believe you know how to work this stuff. I'd be totally lost. Yeah, I, uh, totally do. So just, uh, shut up and let me work. What's the time? Hello, new Playtime co-employee. This video will help you learn the basics of the control room here at the game station, including how to turn on the power to the train. Choo-choo! Oh, thank God. You're in there, player. Give me back baby long legs, and I'll make your death quick and relatively painless. Not exactly an attractive offer, Mommy. But before we get to that, let's start with a quick 45-minute HR-mandated safety regulation seminar. You gotta be kidding me! What are you doing? Uh-oh. The evil giant spider crawled down the massive vent. <laughs> Eureka! You Jump in! You too! Before Mommy gets here! I'm sorry, player. I'm not going with you. What? Why? My place is here. I know she's attacked you at least a dozen times, but Mommy Longlegs is my family. 
She loves me, and I love her. But then, why did you come along with me this whole time? I had to make sure you got away. She would have killed you otherwise. Mommy will do anything to protect me. Goodbye for now, player.